At the start of Twilight Princess, you obtain a slingshot. You then have to go through a challenge with that slingshot. But what if you had to use the ball and chain instead? Let's find out. Hey guys, Swanky Box and Stogie here, and today we're going to be doing a Twilight Princess target challenge. Now the idea is first we have to clear the target challenge with the slingshot, and then immediately afterwards we have to clear the target challenge with the ball and chain, which is a little bit more difficult. So the challenge is pretty simple. The first one to get through both of these runs is the winner. So without further ado, let's get started. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. So the idea is you gotta hit all the different targets. You have to hit, take the head off the scarecrow. And then once the message pops up, like I, now I can already start the second challenge. So this time now I gotta go with ball and chain. How are you doing? I'm, I'm right behind you. Right behind you. And ball and chain is a little bit more difficult because when you throw the ball and chain, it can move you forward. Like you said, see, I just got knocked out of bounds and it's gonna make me reset. I don't have to chain, I don't have to redo it, but uh, it is something to be mindful of. And also you have to hit the head of the scarecrow, otherwise it does not count as a kill. Oh my God, these back ones are gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna be too afraid to get too close to the barrier. Probably gonna step into it right here. Well, it's hard to yep. tell too, because when you you, you really lunge the the ball and chain up, yeah. it, like I can't. Oh, I got that one. Sometimes it clears it, sometimes it doesn't. So I actually just got this one while breaking. So I got disqualified while breaking it. I'm not sure if it's gonna give me it. It did. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> How many, how many targets do you got left? I, I haven't gotten any oh, other than the scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I think, I got one left. Oh, I got one now. I don't think you can even get this one. No, okay. Remember, the one on the far left, you can't get from actually down below. You have to climb up and then take the ball and chain oh. from your porch and smash it. I think that's it for me. The boundaries <laughs> killing me. The boundaries <laughs> killing me. I just won. <laughs> Son of a. All right, so I slaughtered Stogie that time. <laughs> so we're gonna go best two out of three, just to mix it up a little bit. I think he's got a little bit more control over the well, the controls now with the ball and chain. Yeah, I'm a, a little better. <laughs> it's just that boundary line, man. It, I get disqualified. Yeah, every it's hard time. to tell where it's at. I, <laughs> three, two. One, and go. I'm gonna take these heads up. I think the thing with the ball and chain that I sort of had a little bit of trouble with last time was uh, basically when I would shoot at the scarecrow and it wouldn't, it wouldn't take its head off. I cannot get this last target. It would not take its head off. Um, that was a, ma a major issue. Because I felt like I lost some time on that. <laughs> I hate, I hate when you throw it and it takes you out of it takes you out of bounds. The headshot on the scarecrow. I'm over killing these scarecrows <laughs> with the ball. So the scarecrow is actually I just you can just auto lock them too. I just realized. I feel like the one in the far back, like you you have to throw it and uh, it basically. You have to be like talking to them when you hit it. The amount of damage the scarecrows take when that falls on it is amazing though. I'm gonna try throwing it straight up and see what happens. It's like six hits. I don't think I oh I got that that time. Alright, I think I got one I got one no I got two left. How are Still you? Doing? Three. No, oh, I walked out of bounds. <laughs> I did it again. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm, you're I'm over like there. murdering you're over children there, like, over here while I'm trying to get this children. target. I'm on the same target. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm right next to it. I got, I got it when they told me... I think the goal is 
I just, I just got it, so I'm going up top. I don't know if I got it. <laughs> I might have gotten it. I think no. I just won. Whoa! I just won. Oh, yeah, they, they stopped me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, were you talking to them? I didn't mean to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> The baby scares how me. Many, how many targets you got left? I still have three. Three? <laughs> That's our, I that one back one. there, that one back there is actually, you have, you have to climb onto the Porsche to get it, because you can't get it normally. Like, can... Actually, try getting it normally, because I'm curious. Okay. I don't think you can. Here we go. Maybe. I'd be very surprised if you can. Yeah, because I think that's what happened. Like, if you're at like at that line, you cannot actually go any further. Because <laughs> um, I was trying it earlier to see like if you could. Yeah, because that's what the dividing line is. So, yeah. But if you go up on the porch, you can actually get closer. But, anyways, um, so this was just us trying to trying to figure out some different challenges we can do. Twilight Princess obviously has a lot of different areas. We're kind of looking forward to doing some others. But uh, let us know if you like this. Let us know if you have any ideas for future challenges. Um, obviously, this one's right at the start of the game. We're going to be going through different Zelda games also to figure out different things we can do. I have a really cool one planned for Kakariko Village. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think. And we will see you next time. Cheers. Later. If only the fishing pole could break targets.